Catching a ride in Kansas City could become more of an experience. The city is now providing bus shelters that are anything but normal along the Prospect Max line. Now new at 10, 41 Action News reporter Ariel Rothfield explains what these could have as an impact. Ariel. Mike, right now, if you drive up and down Prospect, you'll notice some bus stations have benches. Others, like the one behind me, have shelters, and some have none at all. But Prospect is soon going to undergo a makeover, and it's not just for aesthetics. It's to help improve safety along the corridor, and as you're about to see, connect riders with the rest of the city. Jeremy Pinion takes the bus every day along Prospect Avenue. Usually to work and home from work and then uh, anything I have in between. He's waiting for more than his ride to see the change to this corridor that's moving forward. The more we can make this whole city from a transit perspective interactive and allow people access and options, the better off we're going to be. Part of that plan, the Prospect Max Line. With parts under construction, this is the first time the Kansas City Area Transportation Authority is seeing its new bus shelters. Kind of like a joystick. That are anything but normal. This is a, basically a large iPhone. 48 of these will be placed along the corridor and allow riders to look up job listings, track when buses are coming and going in real time, find social services. You can also call the organization directly from here. This can make phone calls. And provide Wi-Fi all free of charge. The driving force improves safety and economic development along the corridor while keeping riders like Jeremy Pinion. It's going to help me just for the convenience factor. Connected while they're on the go. We need to be part of the solution, not just putting an inanimate op object up and down, going up and down the street. Because at the end of the day, this is about people. So you will start seeing some of those bus shelters as well as the smart kiosks in the next two weeks or so. Now the whole project should be completed by the end of the year. Reporting live in Kansas City tonight, Ariel Rothfield, 41 Action News. Ariel